Hi, so in this video we are going to install Kali Linux. We did download it in the last video but I found that it was OVF uh, for VMware. So I'm downloading this one, an ISO. You're gonna do the, probably do the same thing quickly, uh, run the checksum on the Kali. Uh, let me move it and check it out. So first thing first, we're going to launch CMD and we're going to navigate to where it's downloaded. I think it's it downloads. Yes. So, so we're going to try to, it was cert util, I believe, and dash hash file, then poly tab ISO SHA 256. Let's see. It's thinking so it's gonna give us something and I have something here let's try to move that it start 0 f 9 a and this one does not start with 0 f 9 a it's something else it's short 256 sum is that a thing <coughs> so let's try it again this time type sum at the end that's not found so let me see what's going on oh i know what's going on uh i am checking against this one it was this one Thir oh that's not right either 31a and that oh right there 31a 21157 sounds about right fab14 again we're gonna do it uh, the exact that is notepad we can open it first line from the website second line from the CMD and here you can compare within maybe five seconds you can compare everything uh, to the letter all right so this looks good we're gonna go ahead and start our installation of Kali on our uh, Hyper-V I'm gonna pause the video do something real quick and launch again all right so I'm back um, my T is here let's launch hyper hyper V manager surprisingly Ubuntu is running it should not be let's turn it off and let's start with launching a new virtual machine before you begin we have no idea specify name and location yes it should be in F drive let's find out <coughs> all right so F is indeed our Hyper-V machines let's uh, go with it specify generation let's go with one startup memory I'm gonna give it at least four four for the 16 one that's gonna be three zero four yes, this. okay that's more like it connection not connected default switch let's go with that Kali 127 GB okay <coughs> next install an operating system from bootable image file dot iso let me go ahead and select it all right so it's there and everything looks good let's finish and see what's happening the coolest thing i notice is m1 i do have an apple m1 machine with mac os on it uh, but there's an option if you use that here you can go ahead and install it over there <clears throat> actually I should look into how to install virtual machines on Mac and make a video about that probably so Kelly it's off we're gonna turn it on connect okay there is the logo and graphical install or install let's go with graphical install 
let's say it's advanced option and all that let's find out what are these graphical expert graphical rescue graphical automated <clears throat> Most probably I will either go with automated or express, but let's go back. Oh, what happened here? Go back and go with graphical install and see everything along the way. So while it's gonna do load some files, let's pause it. Every, oh, Okay, English, continue. United States, American English, that sounds right. Scanning installation media. So what I had to do was to go back and download the ISO. In the previous video, we did download something that uh, when I unzipped it, it was .ovf, that's for VMware. And I thought about uh, maybe a second to convert the OVF, but then I was like, hey, why not just go and download from the source if there is a avail it's available. Why go and <clears throat> install the conversion software and then convert it? Okay, Kali is fine. Domain name. Mm, Imran or local? <clears throat> Let's go with local. Full name of the new user. Imran. Okay, that's fine. Choose a password. So, okay, for the password, it looks like yes, Eastern. Yes, please. Detect disk. Guided use entire disk, guided use set up LVM. So what is LVM? Encrypted LVM. So let's find out what exactly is LVM. Logical volume. Ah, okay. Again, it would be just guided. 134 virtual disk. Yes, that sounds right. 134, 36 GB. Initially, I think it was 127. Well, all files in one separate home, separate or temp partition. Let's go with everything in one. <coughs> Continue. SDA, okay. S -X extension for a swap. Mm. Yes. All right, so installing, I'm not sure if so. Uh, should I continue the video or just pause it here? Uh, it's already at nine minute mark, I think. Uh, let's pause it here. All right, so it's giving me this option. I choose a different desktop owner or different collection of tools. Has no effect. Default, uh, yeah, default desktop environment is fine yeah if i click these i think i can switch between between uh, why not if it's all the same let's 
let's see disk activity here performance memory is being used 26 CPU is still 16 that's what I love about this computer <clears throat> uh, even if I run multiple virtual machines uh, only, it only consumes memory uh, but CPU stays uh, relatively at low points so you can see this is the SSD and it's being only used at 1% where the uh, this VM is being installed Oh, it's been five days. GPU, however, oh, it does some work. All right, let's pause the video here again. All right, so it's asking me this. It's program graphical login code to the X Windows system. I would say default GDM3. If it's selected by default, let's go with it. All right, looks like something is happening. Uh, the screen has turned black from the installation. There seem to be a logo, but not sure. Oh, <clears throat> actually, it, <laughs> it was just like, it was acting like a monitor. Uh, let's pause the video again. All right, so this time it did change for real. It says uh, install the grub bootloader. Let's do it now. I'm selecting yes let's see what happens again it's saying to enter device manually hmm okay it's finishing installation let's pause the video here all right so I have the installation complete message it says it's time to boot and probably remove media it was here no media in there so let's go and continue it's finishing rebooting Welcome to Grub, Grub Loading. And I have the Kali GNU graphical user interface selected already. I wish I could make it bigger. Uh, maybe enhance view here. Oh, I listen to me. <clears throat> Status running. Okay, so it is doing something. I have the mouse right here. The mouse pointer is there. It feels a little sluggish. I'm going to see if I can do something about it by adding more RAM, like giving it. Uh, I gave it 4 GB. Maybe it's not enough. I'm going to try to give it uh, 8 GB and see how that goes. Uh, RAM, yeah, uh, I definitely. It's much smoother here, but it's it's a little bit like slight lag. All right, so I believe I have the desktop. I have my background. I have my terminal here. All application. It should have a ton of application. It's still loading. You can see it's like a little 
little bit sluggish is it enhanced no application and this is the menu that like yes we are so used to like it will show you all the application and all that office all right so this is going oh the desktop background changed uh, it was like tiled and now it's stretched all right so i'm gonna wrap this video here it was just an installation video uh with this install we will be playing with ejpt we'll continue doing that uh, it's been maybe a couple of months we haven't uh, resumed that uh, but very excited for this and to explore it a little bit uh, we'll do it again uh, in a different maybe uh, we'll keep doing it uh, um, as we go but uh, for now it, let's wrap this here if this video has helped you uh, please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one